Hello and welcome back. So in this video, we are going to uh, work with uh, notifications. As soon as I launch my Mac, I normally have a uh, notification about update. It's the most uh, constantly updating software that I ever used. You know, Windows does not uh, bother you as much as Mac. Mac does. It's every like I, every week there is an update. So normally that uh, notification show up here and then it vanished so sometime i have to chase it like where exactly is it you can see it's right there system preferences it's saying two so notification they pop up right here on this side most important if they are multiple for example they there's an update then there is some messages then emails so they will come up here so there are different settings that you can do check and the play with for example if you are working from home and you don't want those notifications to appear in a certain period for example after hours you you want to use the laptop but you don't want to be bothered by any notification so you can set them up that way you have a way of uh, using the computer but not worry about the work so notification like i said they are normally here all of them will show up here if you click on this time clock uh, this is here so this is a setting that do not disturb that you will set up and right now notification preferences you can see do not disturb is from 10 in the evening to 7 in the morning you don't want to be disturbed by any kind of notification you can set up to 5 p.m to 7 a.m if you are strictly after hours you don't want to now the other thing about notifications is these are all the settings you can see of different uh, uh, apps and their settings here you can set them up to go to that there are two ways again from do not disturb or you can go from the system preferences from here notification and settings I can find it network general mission control hmm that's interesting if I search notif right there notifications center settings so it was right there actually it showed me these two that's a cool feature if I uh, search it uh, it blurs or darkens everything else and shows me where it, it was so next time I know it, it I like uh, I'm liking this uh, Mac OS more and more every day all right so we get to this exact same screen now for the do not disturb these are the settings for the books they have allow notification that books uh, app can send me notification this one can send me notification this one so notice here between calendar and books or any other app it has an alert banner and none so basically none mean you don't want to be bothered by any notification from a certain app let's say it was books and right now it's set to banner you could set it to none you don't want to be bothered by that or iMovie you don't want to be bothered by uh, oh they they they're putting it a high uh, high importance so basically the difference between banner and alerts is that uh, while setting none you will receive no notification with banner you will notification that will fade away just like in the case of my software update that it shows up but it does not fade away and i have to click on it so that is the alert alert is when the notification appears it stays there until you interact with it either you respond to it or you close it out that's what i did i checked up uh, or i clicked on the update f f f like out of out of curiosity what it is and then I closed it. I was like, okay, it's a 3GB file that I needs to be up downloaded and I will not be doing it for another hour. So I postponed it.
So these are three things. So do you want the notification to appear on the lock screen, meaning when you have locked your computer, you have walked away, and on that screen, do you want those notifications to be there? It's a hit and miss kind of thing. It's It can be a privacy concern if you're in a public seating uh, that uh, you don't, you, don't want anybody else to see what notifications you are getting because obviously some notifications do have some business uh, you know perspective to them like email message or something uh, if it's a home environment you're working from home you have a home office you probably will choose this so just in case you don't miss anything if you are you know because more at home working people they are more relaxed they're going back and forth from here and there so to show in notification center that is the notification center right here so do you want those notifications to show up right here or not or just pop up on the screen if you don't interact they are gone and you have to just uh, chase them so how do you chase them they will show up on the each app obviously if that app is in front of your um, dock you will see them like in my case system preference has two up uh, two updates that is probably for the windows update i believe and it's refusing to pop up right now so but you will see like three emails two messages so you you know and that you're chasing them you click on them find what it is and then you know decide what to do badge app icon this is the badge app icon this one so if I uncheck it, there will be no icons over here on any app. But right now I do want them, so that's why I'm at. Oh, this is for iMovie. That's why. So let's see, do we have system update? Messages, email. So these settings are for individual uh, mail. Okay. So basically, if somebody sends me an email, probably nobody has in this one. Yeah. So I haven't received an email. Oh, right there. You can see that if I badge eye icon, that's gone. If I click it back in, it's there, 495, so okay. So that's how the badge eye icon works. Now for the maps, you can see when unlocked, some some have more options, some have less. When unlocked, show preview. Do you want a, a preview of that message uh, in here, in the body of that notification? If it's unlocked, yes. For uh, when it's locked, definitely don't want to do it. Always will put it on the lock screen as well. Notification grouping is basically automatic. So. Uh, the grouping is that either if you if you get crazy uh, amount of uh, notifications then they will be grouped by the message type for example they are all um, messages or mail or update alerts so they will be stacked like the they, will, they appear in a stack so they are not different one like each for example you have I have 495 emails. It doesn't mean that 495 will start popping up here one by one. Basically, it will have a stack of three, and that you, and then on the very, the very first one will be that email address that that was received uh, latest. So this is all about the a notification if you want to go play with them or you want to turn on any settings or turn them off you have to go do it individually for each app i let's wrap this video here i hope this video has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one